Today we are going to talk about the inside advisors anomaly spikes. So this is another uh, interesting uh, thing. So inside advisor has built in a lot of uh, data exploratory analysis, which we normally used Python and other languages uh, to detect. So click has those things inbuilt. So now we are going to talk about those as well. So in anomaly analysis, essentially we try to detect if there is any sudden variation in the data over time. So it's essentially a time series analysis. Uh, so let's just uh, go into that anomaly analysis. Uh, there are two type again uh, in anomaly analysis. One is spike and then one is trend. Uh, so uh, we're going to see that what is the difference. So I'm just selecting my favorite sales amount and I'm going to see that over another date. So if you see, it says that inside advisor in here says that 22 spikes are detected. The largest one is 113 sudden change. And then the lowest one is uh, this one on this particular date. So, and if we, you know, go into the details, so we can see, you know, these are spikes, all these are spikes. So if you see, yes, there are spikes, you can see that. And, um, but the good thing is, the interesting thing is you have a number right away. Um, then this is a spike and uh, you need to, you know, um, this is an interesting one. So, and also some of them, they ha it hasn't categorized as spikes for despite of being there, uh, but it has seen the general trend of the data and uh, then it has uh, declared its result. But an interesting thing is if I choose the month year. So if you see these anomalies go away, so it says no, there is no anomaly. Uh, though it's a sudden spike, but it's actually smooth out after that. So uh, it hasn't treated that as an anomaly. So these uh, sudden spike changes has been, you know, catered for. And maybe you want to do that by week or uh, uh, by other uh, duration of the time. So, you know, so that, you know, there is no variation because of sudden uh, dips in dates. So that is one anomaly uh, spike. So that give you um, that over time and we can, you know, just do that for any um, uh, KPI here. And then there is an anomaly in trend. So if we talk about trend, so it's very similar, not much of a difference. Uh, except it tries to, you know, see that, you know, uh, within the data itself as well. Uh, for example, if you see, um, there's one trend anomaly. So it's kind of uh, uh, going for the data itself, the changes in the data, uh, upward trend. So for example, here, data is changing up and down, up and down. But uh, in a, a period of, over a period of time, it remains smooth. Uh, but in case of uh, the other one, the spike, it's, it's detect every spike. So that is the difference between the trend of anomaly trend and anomaly spike. So if you see, yeah, let's see where the spike is. Yeah, a trend anomaly found uh, on with 11k value in here. Okay, so where it is, it's a bit... Interesting one, a bit hard to find. Maybe if we just select the data, select time, let's see if we are able to still the spike is there. Yeah, so the that one is a spike actually. So it's actually a downward spike. Generally data is going up, so it has to treat it as a spike. So uh, that's it. Uh, it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video.